Hey, how's it going again? This is Tim, aka Teed Up. And today I'm going to discuss a little bit about first aid because we always talked about fixing our RVs from the roof to the radio to dumping the tanks to tires to you name it. But I really never see um, a lot of videos on first aid and security, um, what you can do in the event that you're stranded out in the middle of nowhere and you need some kind of um, first aid medical help. Well, first thing I did, I purchased this book called SAS Survival Guide. It's called Special Air Services um, Survival Book. Gives you a detailed description about um, different things in this book on from poison ivy to different bugs to different trees to you name it. But I think this is a nice little book that you can have on board of your rig just in case. Also, um, I have some two-way radios. Well, these here are by Motorola. These are, are waterproof radios that you can use on your rig for, even if you're using it for your um, backing up, you can, the person who's directing you to back up, you can use two-way radios instead of using a cell phone or using hand signals. Well, in either case, this will be a backup for you. When I first started um, RVN, I bought this Johnson & Johnson first aid kit, as you can see here, by um, the Walmart. This has common essentials inside of it, you know, from band-aids to um, gloves to gauze to a little, a little bit of everything. But I wanted something more substantial. So then someone gave me this here. It's this little band-aid kit, as you can see. Just have band-aids in there. It tells you what size you have here. It's something to have in your rig. And of course, we have a small little item that you can, you can use you know, for the kids or even for your vehicle. Something quick and easy. It's a small version of a first aid kit. And also, I bought some bottles of iodine that you can see here. That'd be nice to have in case you get um, poison or you get cut, you don't want it to get infected. I have here just the basic, basic um, plastic bag you can use for any kind of things you want to discard. And I have what's called a seal cock key. I actually have a, a one-way seal cock key and a two-way so, I'm sorry, four-way silk cut key. I also have a two-way as well inside of the rig. But this is for if you get to an area where sometimes the water spigot handle is removed and they don't want you to use it. And if it's part of a water, you can, you can kind of use that for the emergency purposes only. But um, you can use this here to get some water if you need. Like having the iodine in this container here, I do have iodine wipes in little packages as well as alcohol wipes and all that good stuff. I have bandages you can use. You have, this is more of a sterile type bandage where it was vacuum sealed. This here is dated for expression date of 2018. Um, so if I get to use this like one time with a bee sting, a poison ivy, or whatever the case may be, this unit has paid for itself. Also you have um, water, you have purified water, you have alcohol, you have um, cold packs, you have all kind of stuff in here. And also what I do, I keep these bags you get from um, different RV shows. You can keep this here in a baggie. This way you can discard your waste products in one of these bags right here and discard it later on. But this here is a good place to keep your um, seal cut key your SAS survival guide booklet and if you can stuff whatever you can in here that'd be great also what you want to keep in your um, first responders kit is a box of matches because in a baggie because what happened if you use a lighter the lighter um, fluid or an extension lighter a little small one big lighter after a while the fluid is going to keep evaporate your first responder um, first responder kit near the driver where it can be readily accessible. So I keep mine up here near the front on the driver's side. And you can just keep all the little, even though a lot of them are small, the little necessities ones like this one here, 
You can still use that, you just never know. And your little Band-Aid kit here, you can keep that. But keep all of that, including any other items you want to keep for an emergency purposes only, up here near the front. That way they can be really accessible, I mean they can be accessible easily I should say, um, up here. And basically that's all to it. This is a nice unit, I like it. Um, what I'll do, I'll put a link in the description below. If you guys like it, give me a thumbs up and I'll try to bring you more information on do-it-yourself projects, ideas from Tim Rover. In the meantime, you guys have a great day and I'll talk with you later. Bye.